Before we start this minute clinic, you'll need to know how to enter program mode on your Valcom Proton. With your marker off, hold down the trigger and turn your marker on. The lights will blink, letting you know your Proton's entering program mode. When there's a solid LED, that signifies what parameter you're going to be adjusting. A single red shows your rate of fire cap. By pressing and releasing the trigger once, you'll cycle through the modes, and the next mode is a yellow LED light for solenoid dwell. The orange and red LEDs let you know you'll be adjusting trigger debounce. The green LED is for pulls per second on ramp 1. The red and green LED is for pulls per second adjustment on ramp 2. And the orange and green LED lights is for the ball and position accuracy or your eye sensitivity settings. Pressing and releasing the trigger once cycles through these parameters. Now let's adjust the solenoid dwell on your Valken Proton. Enter programming mode and cycle until the orange light is showing. This is the solenoid dwell or valve timing parameter. Hold down the trigger for two seconds and then release to engage the programming. The blinking LED will show that the proton is currently set at and comes set at a dwell of six milliseconds out of the box by blinking six times. That's on a scale of three milliseconds to 15 milliseconds. When the LED goes dark, press and release the trigger the number of times you want your new settings to be. I'm headed to play and it's a bit colder, so I will raise my dwell to 8 milliseconds by pulling 8 times and then stop. I do this to allow the valve to be open longer and give me a little bit more oomph to my drive engine cycle. Lowering it will use air a bit more efficiently. The proton will then feed back after a few seconds what the new setting is. Turn off your proton and you're ready to play with your new dwell settings. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow us on social media, and you'll get the exclusives from Balkan Sports.